Maka's guides. <laughs> Hey everyone, Maka here playing Final Fantasy VII Remake and in this video I will be showing you the trophy called In Lockstep which is for bypassing a level 5 security lock in the Mako Reactor 5. This will also obviously be an achievement once this game comes out on Xbox. But the opportunity to do this is during Chapter 7. Now, I won't be giving away any, like, real story elements, but maybe a little bit of a spoiler alert as to what's going to happen next. During Chapter 7, you'll be kind of working your way through all of these mechanics where you're using key cards to dispose of parts of the boss before you fight them. And then after all of these segments, you'll reach a locked door, which needs to be bypassed. So you'll interact with the terminal, which will open up a side door, and in that side room, you will find a couple of switches that you will need to interact with and your little side characters will do a great job of explaining all of that to you so this you can't really miss the mechanic here is pretty simple tifa will hop on the middle one you will hop on the other switch and what you need to do is match her movement now i think the game intends for you to try to match her timing based on the vocal countdown i found it a lot easier just to match her actual physical character's movement this was a lot easier to do, and I was able to do it with a lot better accuracy. So if you are struggling, that is definitely a tip. Instead of matching the on-screen uh, command or the vocal cue, just match your actual movement. Now, after you do this one time, it will open the door to continue to the boss room. Now, here is where the trophy or achievement will be earned. Instead, what you want to do is go to the terminal not far from where we were pushing the button, and we won't be able to hack into this terminal because the security level is too high. The characters will have a little bit of a discussion, and we can try this puzzle again now. Without interacting with the terminal, you'd probably just accidentally proceed to the boss room and play the game as normal. So for this puzzle, it's not that bad. It's the same kind of stick movement. I would recommend copying the character's movement, but we have to do a uh, four in a row. And if you do fail one, it's fine. You'll just have to kind of try again until you get them all. And then you will open up the side door, which has a bunch of cool stuff inside. you guys. Let's keep it up. All right, three, two, one. Data level security disengaged. Wow, think we've got this? Hell yeah, bring it on! Ain't nothing I love more than sticking it to shit. Shake it off. Three, two, one. Gamma level security disengaged. No way! <laughs> you guys are naturals. Okay, final round. Don't lose focus. Three. Two, one. Now, once you get all of these actions, the door will disengage and you'll be able to go inside. You'll also unlock the in lockstep trophy or achievement. And once you open that door, you want to go inside and you'll get some very useful materia called the magic up materia that will buff your magic attacks. And then don't forget to hit the lever right in the middle of the room. This will kind of send all of the disposed parts like down. It'll roll down into the room and you'll be able to interact with them now. And inside of them are actually some really useful stuff, including a couple of potions. More importantly, some Phoenix downs. And you'll also grab a couple of AI programming cores, which at first I had no idea what they were for. But they're basically just a simple item that you can sell to a vendor for 500 gil which isn't a crazy amount but it's definitely going to help you in the long term especially if you're going for a harder difficulty or 100 percent or anything like that but nonetheless i hope this video was helpful don't forget to drop a like uh share the video with a friend a special thank you to everyone on patreon for supporting the show and hopefully i see you soon peace